I want to thank God that we're doing what we can to save lives. In the, the uh, in Idaho, the Idaho House on Wednesday adopted an anti-abortion resolution, encouraging people to fly their flags half staff. And they declared January the twenty-second as a day of tears. Thank God for that vote. Somebody need to do something to call attention to this slaughter that is going on in our nation. Now, we just had the Right to Life March um, in January uh, the 21st. Approximately how many people were in that march? 150,000 people showed up. Did anybody see any coverage on the local news about it? Now, if 150,000 people showed up in D.C. to find out how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, we'd know it. If 150,000 people showed up at a hot dog eating contest, we would know it. If 150,000 people just showed up to just stare at the sun, we would know it. But look at all of the news blackouts when 150,000 or more show up to save lives. See, that's bias. Now, they don't have any problem running stories attacking the lieutenant governor. But how about a news media? A little balance. Would be nice. Just just a little. At least pretend that you don't that you haven't taken sides. It would really be a good thing. Brother, let them see the crowds at the right to life. Since they wouldn't, since ABC, REL, and all the rest of them wouldn't show, show you. I'll show you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I report it. Go into the next slide. Look at all those. Look at the people. Look at the people. Continue, please, sir. L look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at how they're out there. And this crowd, the wonderful thing about the crowd, when, the, when it's over, no buildings are burned, no cars are burned, no Molotov cocktails. You don't have to call the police. These are good, God-fearing people. Next slide, please. Praise the Lord. And they march, and it was cold out there. And they march for life. And the local news didn't cover it at all. They gave no time to that. See, but let somebody rescue a cat <laughs> or a dog. Me and my wife, we sit and look at each other and say, it must be a slow news day today. Because who cares about that? Thank you so much. Uh, I think that we have to say something. Over 150,000 pro-life generations showed up in force to remember the sisters and brothers and friends and classmates and children and neighbors lost to abortion in our lifetime. Millions of priceless beyond Beloved individuals who should be here with us today. Oh my, they're gone. Something has to be said. Amen? Amen. So, saints, let us continue to fight for the lives of the unborn. God bless you. Thank you. Amen.